Hello, this is MKFan49 with another review. Today we are reviewing the 40th anniversary of She-Ra, Princess of Power. I got this on BigBadToyStore.com. Here is the front of the package. Here's the side of the package. The back of the package. The other side. The top and the bottom. And let's crack her open. Because, yes, people know. She Ra is the twin sister of V Man. Okay. Nice. Okay. So we get, looks like we get two additional hands. Okay. Oh man, they did that to the cake seriously. And over here too. Okay, I'm just trying to be very careful. Alright. My, my mistake is okay. So just trying to get all these different tie, tie wraps and everything. And let's see if there's one on this. Yep, there is. Man, they really don't want to want to take her out of the package. I'm going to be careful because I don't want to break sheet rock. So this is our standard She-Ra that they give you. And let me give you her sword. Which is nice. They did a good job with this figure. With this particular head. Um, let's see. You, you really can't get a, because of how it is, you don't get that much room. It can go up and go down. The arms are on a nice ball joint, so you can the arms can do a full 360. You do get a bicep swivel. Uh, you get about a 90 degree arm bend. No waist rotation. Um, actually, you get a lower waist rotation, which is kind of neat. Okay. You do get um, upper biceps, upper thigh swivel. You get about a 90, I think you can get a double knee bend. Hold on, give me a sec. Yes, you can get a double knee bend of She-Ra. 
which is nice. You do get a boot rotation. You can also get ankle pivots, no toe pivots. So I will say this is a wonderful figure. She also does come with an additional hand. So if you don't want her to have the sword in, you can give her these hands. So instead they gave her a different sword hand. So you get one grabbing hand and one close fisted hand. Which is nice. So also, before I put the sword back in, you can also change out her head. So you can take this off, and let's put in her alternate, her armored form. So. So then you get a different head sculpt, which is nice. Which also you get a longer cape. And you get a shield also. So let's put the shield on. So I get the shield. So it's going to just slide. Let's see. Maybe I got to do it this way for the shield. Let me see. No, let's see. So I think they really want you to have the shield on the right hand. Let's. Okay. So let's see if the shield is meant for the right hand, and yes it is. It's meant for the right hand only. You may have to open up the hand so the, sh so the shield can go in. And let me swap this out for the power sword. So there's your battle version of she which is nice. And now let's show comparisons. Let me fix this other. This is nice. She stands pretty decent. I'm just trying to get her to stand real fast. There we go. So here she is compared to... If I can get him. Uh, his, uh, to also oh, this will be King Grey Skull. Savage He-Man. Man at Arms and her twin brother, He Man. Let me get a better. Let me see if I can. There we go. For He Man. So I will say she scales pretty well for being about six to seven inches tall. So here she is compared up with, Gray, with King Gray Skull. They're about this, definitely the same height, or next to Savage He-Man, where Savage He-Man, well, they're about the same height still, and regular He-Man. I definitely recommend her. She is now in stock in Big Bad Toy Store, so I do recommend. So, please like the video, please comment the video, please subscribe to the channel. And click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And to be notified of any videos you may have missed. And this is MKFan49 signing out.